Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls of Ash and Dust. We have good news people, very, very good news. I managed to fix the enemy glitch. For those of you just joining, which there's probably not that many of you, um, I've been struggling with this weird glitch where uh, certain enemies, not all of them, just certain enemies, would not aggro on me including these Sense Fortress snakes. I managed to fix it. People recommended a hotfix, which was available on Nexus mods. I downloaded that, which I somehow missed when I was originally downloading it, and it didn't work. And I was real, real pissed back then. That was yesterday. Because I honestly thought that that was gonna be it for this playthrough, that I'd have to just stop because, you know, it's no fun playing through the game where there's like two areas where enemies just don't attack you, you know, that's not that's not fun, uh, that's not what a Souls game is about. Uh, plus, it's obviously a glitch. However, I didn't want to give up, so what I ended up doing, and it's really, you know, the oldest and simplest trick in the book, which is I uninstalled and reinstalled the game. I applied the mod again. Luckily my save stayed. Um, everything stayed. My equipment, like, you know, nothing broke. And it fixed it. Enemies are working. Which is really, really good. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved because I'm, if you can't tell, I am hella enjoying this playthrough. I think this mod is super fun, it's super well made. So I'm having a really good time here. You guys seem to be enjoying it as well. And the thought of having to end it because of some stupid glitch that I can fix, uh, that was... That was not really a good thought. That was not a good thought. If I remember correctly, I died here in the Darkroot Basin. It's been a few days since I've played I'm pretty sure I got killed by the Hydra because I was gonna go kill the well the Hydra um, so I'm pretty sure that my soul and my body should be here which we can hopefully pick up because I've been losing mad souls throughout this playthrough so I think if push comes to shove I might have to do a little bit of farming There it is. Okay, I'm correct. Correct the mundo. See, the issue the last time was that the Hydra killed, not killed, it woke the cat. And the cat has a lot of motherfucking HP. So I was getting like annihilated. God, this attack! What the hell is up with this attack? I just can't dodge it. Okay, so I think the tactic here is gonna be stay on this side. Hopefully, there's only one cat over here. Actually, you might you might be well protected here. Better protected, at least. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well. Here's a lesson that you can always learn something in Souls games. I never knew that this side was safer. Because it is. Like, normally this guy blasts you like hell. And he's super annoying. And that didn't happen. God, this attack is a motherfucker. Oh, shit. Speaking of enemies which are annoying, this is one of them. Uh, it's just very difficult to fight this thing normally because he's so jank. He's probably one of the jankest enemies. Luckily I'm dealing decent damage to him with the buffed weapon. God, I gotta turn down my volume because I love this shit. 
Cool. He's halfway done. Three heads left. There's one that's like really difficult to get. Oh, okay. Well, my aim is... Are you fucking serious? Okay, I gotta hit in. He's gonna go back to ranged. I might just have to like free aim pyromancy the, the last head. Okay. What the hell is so weird? Cause he's like almost taking no damage. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I should have I should have been on fire orb. My ass was on combustion, which probably would work too, but what? Where is your That was really strange. Where the hell did his other head go? It like merged into the <laughs> ground or something. Alright, come on. Oh shit. Why there? He wasn't going there before, was he? Like, I had a straight shot at him. Okay. And this is the one that's like a real challenge to get. Uh, did that hit? I'm not sure if that actually hit. Oh god, fighting this enemy is... This enemy is always a problem. That is hitting him. Cool. Okay, I gotta be like real on point. The aiming of my fire orbs. Nice. That's free aim for you, boys. Didn't wake the cat. Didn't screw up anything. Cool. Okay, I think if we do a quit and reload, that should prompt Dusk to spawn. Right? I think that's the... That's the trigger. Or like the golem, I mean. Not that there's really anything, you know, like special I want from her, but if she even spawns in this location, you know, that's the other thing that with the way things are shuffled around in this game, there's absolutely no guarantee that she's gonna spawn here. Cool. Alright, well that's okay, that's okay. We will encounter Dusk wherever she needs to be encountered. Let's go and do... Sense Fortress. Okay, so I'm gonna... When I'm going through, I'm gonna remove Power Within because I don't really need it. And I'd rather have some, like, ranged spells. For the boss, we'll Power Within, but... Oh man, I have so little HP and all that. Oh well. So yeah, Sense Fortress. This should be... This should be interesting. Now that enemies are actually working, uh, things are going to be more fun. Man, I wish I'd gone through Blight Town like this. If I'd kind of... pushed the solution a little bit more. I think I could have figured it out back then as well. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. One area. What the? Don't fucking kick. Things are restored the way they should be, you know. Oh, if only you weren't so easy to parry. But. They did think of not being able to repose these enemies. It seems like anything basically larger than a standard human 
you can't repost in this mod. Okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh oh. Are we entering the phase of Mr. Sketchhead can stay in human form for more than 30 seconds? Is that. Are we entering that phase of this run? I have a shit ton of humanities. I'm gonna use one. Because fuck it. Because listen, if there is like an invader or an event, I wanna see it. So. You know, let's go. I think after being able to fix this, I don't think anything could ruin my mood today for this playthrough. Um, I could lose all my souls, all my humanities, I still would be happy. Because... One thing I didn't check is the time. Cool. I mean, it's no use now, then whatever. So yeah. My mood is... Unruinable. Still gotta be careful because, you know, no bonfire in sends. I am playing a dangerous game here and I should stop because at this rate I'm not gonna have enough uh, resources to... I think we're gonna have to do like a... No, no, I'm dead. I was trying to dodge, fuck, okay. Damn, this is not easy, the fact that they have ranged attacks now. That's gonna be okay. I'm I'm not wasting any more humanities. That's for sure. Um, good thing I use my souls though. Shit, like this is different. Like if you haven't played this mod, uh, this is, I gotta say, this is genuinely difficult. Um, because, like, partially it has to do with the fact that you know. Why did I go through him? That's cheating. Wow, that buff does a lot more damage. Uh, partially, obviously it has something to do probably with the fact that the general layout is just familiar enough for me to be overconfident, you know? Like, because in my mind this is Dark Souls and I know how to do everything in Dark Souls. And like breeze through these areas like hell. But on the other hand, everything is different enough that you get like really, really thrown off. This is a risky game. But what I'm trying to do here is exploit the fact that the AI is not smart. Although pretty smart, because he managed to make it through. So yeah, uh, I think the fact that I'm doing this badly is partly due to that, because... You know, this is Dark Souls, I should be able to just like breeze through this area, but then I can't. Oh man. Lots of graves. But I think that's really cool, that's kind of what I expected. Oh, fuck off. I panicked. God, it's difficult to dodge those. Um, yeah, it's difficult because do you dodge into the swing pendulum or do you... Well, what do you do? God damn. Alright. Or maybe I'm just having an off day, but again doesn't even affect me. There is nothing that could sour my mood today. 
Oh, yeah, these guys are weak to fire, apparently. The com combustion works okay as well. I swear that was the last death. Um, it's not gonna be the last death. But. Oh, please. <laughs> works for me. Careful. Did he get knocked off? He did. Cool. No! Okay, I'm not dead. I'm dead. I, c I couldn't. I couldn't avoid that. I was mashing. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> this is not. I, that was. The last five minutes were horrible. <laughs> from like a gameplay perspective. I'm supposed to be like elite level 99 fucking Dark Souls player and what the hell is going on? Hey, so surprise, remember when I said previously that that was gonna be the last death? Um, it wasn't. I'm going to be honest with you. I am a little bit Ashamed to admit how many times I've died in this area. That shall remain a secret. Shall remain. That's like a, such a fancy way of putting it. You know, those etiquette schools are paying off. It's what I use my YouTube money for. Um, yeah, the way this area is set up. And don't worry, you haven't missed anything. The way this area is set up is pretty devious because you are blocked by the serpent, you are getting shot by the mage, and you can get into like some very, very shitty situations where it's like, do you dodge back into the path of the pendulum, or do you like try to dodge the spell? Fuck off. I made it. She's not dead, is she? No, she's not. Eat shit. Okay. It's a mimic. <laughs> That's a mimic. Oh, fucking hell. I was just thinking that. I was like... They're gonna pull... A mimic here. A mimic trick. GG's. Oh man, I would have been so fucking pissed. <laughs> I would have been so fucking pissed if I got caught by that. Luckily. Again, I'm a level 99 elite souls player. So... Mimics can't... Can't get the best of me. We'll get him. We'll get him. Cool. It looks like this works the usual way. I mean, I don't think you can ch change this part really. Adios. Can't believe I got hit by that. I like brushed up against my nose or some shit, but hey. Dark Souls logic, you know. Let's go visit Ziegmeier because I am trying to do his quest line. Hmm, is there any? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was like, isn't he supposed to have more dialogue? But he ha he has more dialogue. He don't roll. This boy ain't about that rolling life. That rolling rock. Hey, 
Is Rolling Rock still a thing? I guess it is. AVGN classic, you know. I had Rolling Rock a couple of times. It's not bad. Kind of like one of these, like, typical American beers. It's a little bit, like, neutral, but that's not necessarily a huge issue. If that was a fucking mimic, that would have been, like... Oh, interesting. The Dark Moon Seance. So you can access Gwendolyn early. I guess you could always access him early because you can go to the... Oh, shit. I tried to do a sneaky little, like, avoidance, but it didn't work out. Yeah, the only saving grace here is that these guys seem to be weak to fire, so... I kinda had a feeling. I was just about to say, I bet there's another one here. You always gotta expect another... Oh shit, you can backstab them. So what the hell is up with the repost? Maybe I'm just like... Screwing up the positioning or something. Interesting. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what would be like a real shitty move if this path is like blocked off. Listen, if you want to come up, if you want me to come up with horrible shit, just call me because I have ideas. Don't even think about it. 13 damage. Cool. This is really like taking quite a bit of concentration. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like here trying to play it off cool and all that, but... Again, it's like this m perfect mix of familiarity and uh, new and I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm like 99% sure that some of the enemy attacks are uh, the timing is changed maybe that's just like a conspiracy theory but I don't know I'm so scared to go down there In fact, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unlock the bonfire first, at the top. Oh, but then I can't rest at it, can I? Because... Yeah, that don't make no sense. My little, like, theory. There's one on the other side, isn't there? Where is she? I can't see her. Uh, okay, listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little calculated risk here. And we'll pick up the item. Which used to be the shuttle or showtel or whatever. Uh, yeah, this realigns, right? Or oh, it's Murakumo. That was gonna be my other... Um, my weapon of choice. But... I went with the Pyro build instead. Oh god, this is nerve-wracking. Because I always... like have this theory that it's gonna like realign. Or like turn. And screw me over. I'm pretty sure this one does. Because I can hear it spinning. Yup. Yup. <laughs> what a motherfucker this game is. And this happens in vanilla as well. It's not like... It's not this mod. 
it happens normally too. We might as well get Ring of Steel protection. Interesting. Oh, catch it. It's like getting to the bus on time, you know. Which, man, it's been so long since I've taken the bus to anywhere. Yeah, I usually only did... Usually only rode the bus when... I needed to drink, you know, pre-COVID. And then it's like, you know, get home with the bus and all that, or go to, you know, go anywhere where there's alcohol involved. But now, now that we have COVID and everything is closed, yeah, just car only, and even my car, I've barely put any kilometers not miles kilometers into it that was a really stupid move that I walked into that oh, fuck am I gonna make it three Estes the only saving grace is that they can't hit me here because imagine if I was getting constantly blasted while trying to fight these enemies. Holy shit. And they're up on the upper level, which means that that place is gonna be hell to get through. I like the little dance they do get when they get burnt. Pretty good. Unique death animation. Okay, come on. Give me the repost. I I I hmm. I didn't get the repost. Weird. Oh well. This is the place I'm dreading cuz I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a bad time. One flask, 10k souls. Okay. Thank fuck I'm playing Pyro. You wanna go, bitch? We can go. Eat shit. Oh god, this is bad. No! Oh no, 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 no. I mistimed it. Uh, we're gonna do this off screen. I'm gonna have to. This is painful. I knew that was gonna happen. Shit. Uh. Man, Sense Fortress is a motherfucker here. How many large Titan Night Shards do I have? Not enough to level. I have chunks, but that, that ain't good for nothing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. I'll go do this off screen and we'll pick it up from here next time around. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls. Take care of Ash and Dust, I should add. As always, like the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.